Hey, what's going on guys uh, we're gonna do more of a series of these cat and mouse videos as us being the cat to give you folks an idea of what's it like on the other side of that radar detector that is in the patrol vehicle trying to get you and your speed and uh, it's gonna be really interesting uh, what you what we find here you're gonna get the whole picture as to what's going on on the radar detector side, but now you're going to see what it's like on the other side of the radar gun or laser gun, and then you're going to get a better picture overall of what's actually going in these different scenarios. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate that. We'll have more of this unique content out there. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else on the internet. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Radar Busters Online. Uh, Twitter as well, Radar Busters, and we'd love to engage with you if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any additional tests. Okay, we're going to sit here on an on-ramp. We actually uh, have come to where we had seen a state trooper about a week ago sitting here in this very spot running uh, instant on radar at the back of these vehicles going away from us. And we're going to show you, you can't really see anything, we're hidden. And uh, you're going to see we're actually running with a K-Band RP-1. Uh, that's a Raptor Custom Signals, very hard to detect, very low power. Horizontally polarized patch antenna. And very difficult, even with the most sensitive detectors like the Unit in R987. Four, three. So we're just sitting here on RF hold. We're not transmitting and we're going to just be pretty selective. Let's go after that white car. 80. We'll have to see what that fast speed was. We're clocking both uh, the fastest and the strongest and uh, the fastest is going to be in the upper right on the screen. So to be a really good, difficult to beat patrol officer, you have to really be selective. Let's see, that gray one looks uh, like it's cooking. Yep, 85. We'll release. So we're not transmitting, we're on RF hold, which means no radar detector can detect these signals because we're not broadcasting at the moment. So we're just gonna wait, look for a speeder maybe in the left lane, just observing traffic. We're, we're seeing the flow of traffic there when pretty much the vehicles are going at the same speed. There's a white one. 84. You can see he was closing. He locked the speed at 84. So he would be subject to a traffic stop. We'll stop transmitting. There goes a red truck. Looks like he's going a little faster. 79, 80, lock them in at 79. Just wait for a speeder to come by. We'll take one more shot. Do a visual estimate, which is the, really the way it should be, not indiscriminately targeting, although some do. 
you really use the radar to, that guy sort of swerved, 82, in the left, that silver one, so there's a speeder for you, It'll turn off, it's locked, so anybody wants to see, you know, I want to see your radar gun, well, that's what you can do, it's a lock, not that you would normally do that, but that's for your documentation purposes. So there you go. That's uh, instant on from a hidden position. On the other side of an overpass on an on-ramp. Very lethal, especially with this uh, custom uh, signals Raptor RP-1 with a low-power K-band horizontally polarized patch antenna, extremely difficult to detect.